push this thing in. That would be fucking not to go in. Okay, you guys, we're back. So, um, all right. So I am always thinking, what's the big picture going to be? He's already starting to go on his platform. You know, you're just me. It's it, the difference between there's a lot of people. I I'm seeing it. They want to hang around and rub around on the dog's mouth after they give it a treat. If you said should you do that, no. It, the part of the skill is just being able to. You know, there's a sleight of hand to it, I suppose. You little peanut. He made an effort. You saw his little effort to jump. Okay, so I've got the little small sunglasses. These little kid sunglasses are good. Yeah, yeah they, fit, but they look cute on him though. So yeah, I'd probably get more views if I put them on the dog, I swear. Okay, so you're always saying to yourself, I'm not trying to use the noise to get him to do something. I'm just making it sort of a precursor to movement <laughs> or just a concurrent, things are going. Things, more than one thing is happening. I think that's what we need to say to them. It's like the Morse code thing. There's a sound, but there's a blinking light too. So if you said there's a sight and there's a noise too. Yeah. The sight is a movement. Oh, 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 you little peanut. Now this puppy's just like, Unbelievable cute. I hope Stacy can get them. That girl ended up wanting her deposit back, and like my accountant said, don't take another deposit from that girl. And I get her point. I get her point. So once someone demands their deposit back, you can't take another deposit from them. Anyway, but their things are meant to be. I don't know, there's just something about this dog. I think I can get them to lay down from there. <laughs> I think I can get him to lay down from there by thinking about getting him to lay down from there. <laughs> That's what it, what it seems like. He's looking for a cue, though, watch. Oh. <laughs> you little peanut. It's just the tail. Plus the extra chubby belly. Oh, I think he's doing, I honestly think he's doing the chin down thing. <laughs> I do. Watch, let's see if he does it. <laughs> you little precious pain. <laughs> they all do it. I mean, they've just got a limited behavior repertoire. They're designed to do certain things. Not five million things. All right, let me see if I can get him to put his chin down. Brushes its chin in the beginning. Maybe you should work with Common on that, Sharon. It's it's just a very delicate little conversation. It's a very hi, Jonathan. It's a very delicate conversation. And if you said, "What is it saying?" I see micro movements, or I see the smallest thing. And he's studying me. If he's trying to copy me, if he said, well, I'm putting my hand on my chin, but I'm... If he said it's an accident, it stops being... And he said it's a coincidence. It stops being a coincidence after a while. All right, watch. Oh, 
my God. Oh, no. He said, well, the Rottweiler ate the sunglasses. Damn it. Oh, I must have just got the handle of one of them. Oh, it probably fell out of the garbage. Oh, you bitch. treat up there. So he's going up there after I leave. Okay, so now he's back up there. But if you said, is that luring? How's it luring? I'm not even over there. You really want to avoid luring. I can't stress it. Oh, you said that was an accident. I know, but it stops being that after a while. You said what else? You see the curl paw. If you said, should you? I, I do. I think you should do that. I'm curling my arm like this. All right, so my chin down. And it's got to be a very small, not yes, big throw up the arms. Tiny, micro, a micro noise. Now right, watch, I'm just gonna put the chin down so I got the arm bent. The exhale, the exhale should really be through your nose though. If you really wanted one to settle, this is what you'll do. It's it's you precious peanut. They all do it. All dogs have that behavior anyway. They do. They all have that behavior anyway. You little peanut. You just tell by the way he accepts the treat though that it's a purposeful behavior. You little peanut. No, I was looking at my feet. I'm giving the arm. Okay, so if you said, well, so now it's falling asleep. It's not falling asleep. I can wake it right back up with the, if you said, yeah, if I leave, you can just do a little reset. Now I just leave for a second. Oh, he's beyond cute. Oh, hi, Christine. All right, girl, get, get, uh, oh, hi, Tony. Tony, I was having nightmares last night about, well, I think you and Cece need to talk seriously about getting Comet trained. I, I just, it's, my God, what if something happens and you're not there, Tony? I mean, I'm scared to death for Cece. Just the way you said she thought you were getting mauled. I mean, it's very traumatic for people. It is. It's, it, yay. <laughs> it, because everything happens so fast. That's what people, that's what people say. Ah! say train at fast speed. Everything happens so fast. <laughs> that, that's what you have to do. 
so the hand can exit, so. Anyway, Christine, get out on that platform. I like this, so see, he was, it wasn't an accident, he was standing up there. I like that thick grass carpet stuff. If you said it reminds me of you of the indoor-outdoor carpet from when you were a kid, I'm sure it does. You might get back up there. You little peanut. All right. Okay. Godfrey knows. Oh, well, he's the very first person. How strange. I'll invite Lucy. Mike. Mike's already might already be there. Everyone, I'm just very needy now. <laughs> you are? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Who cares? He said because no one cares. Yes, because no one cares. <laughs> Oops. I think that's what we're saying. If you're, if you're not able to speak the mother tongue at all, I mean, you're always going to kind of be on the outside. You are! Alright, so I don't want him jumping on me or by my dinner, so just go right to the little. Now, how many times has he already done that behavior? So he's going to keep doing it. He's going to keep doing it. If he said, should you lower him up there? I shouldn't, but what I do is I end up just putting chairs there, then I leave. So it's not luring, it's, it's him stealing. <laughs> it's him stealing. Oh, M, stop, Clue. Wait, hang on, let me adjust this or something else. This isn't working out. Hang on. Okay. So avoid luring. Luring just, if I, you know, I look back at so many things. And think, How did I get talked into that stuff? Somehow these people coerced me, lured me into doing it. That's the way, that's my perception anyway. That ends up being my perception, and then it can end up suffering this blowback where you get this passive aggressive behavior and all this shit. You know, I mean, just the things that I just let people get away with. I mean, it's so stupid. Okay, so now look, he's already laying down. If you see what I get the chin down. Tell that Rottweiler to be still. That would help. <laughs> All right, here he goes. Hang on, hang on. You're not luring, though. If I set it there and just leave, that's it's, how can I, that be luring? If you said the food lures it. Well, the food lures it then. <laughs> oh, you little peanut. All right, let's see if I get him to lay down. There's my hand signal. Oh, oh you person. Just the way he does it. If you said how. How can you tell? That because it doesn't, its head stays fixed. Its gaze stays fixed. It lays down, but it doesn't look down. You see what I'm saying? Its, its head stays fixed. Okay, so let's try and get the chin down. He's looking at my feet.
there's the yawn. Oh, there's a creature bed. If you said, should you yawn too? Oh, yeah, here's another requirement, Mike. If they yawn, if you're trying to do this, you then yawn too. If you said, what does that tell us? I'd have the front rollers to fall down. That tells us whether you're in the same, what it was it, coherence. Whether you're in coherence, if without effort, after the dog yawns, Mike's like, what? <laughs> I just winked at me. Okay, it's on video. I didn't just imagine it. All right, I'm gonna get the chin down. That was a real yawn, I swear. He yawned and I yawned. We're in coherence. He said to chin, it is gonna go down much. He's not gonna spring up. If you, you can just look at his feet. Well, never mind. He is going to scream. Okay, so if you said now what? Now I want to work on the deliver. You're just doing different things. If you said all at once, no. If you said how is it going to pull together? I mean, obviously, you're going to be able to get him delivering to the back. All right, let me make sure I'm in the shot. So, oh, you really Um... If you said, what if you only rewarded that 50% of the time? If I told you the lottery is a 50-50 chance, I don't like those odds, what do I play? The key here is, and I'm understanding that my, that they're seeing more like a camera than we are. If you said they're not completely seeing like a camera, but more than we are, yeah. If you said in what way, they're able to look at things, but they're still able to see what's around them with their ears and everything else. They're still looking with their other senses all the time, subconsciously. If you said, what about us? No. We're walking off cliffs, taking selfies. <laughs> Falling in fountains, taking selfies, so no. Once vis this visual focus or whatever it was is, then you're not aware of anything else around you. If you said what about them, they still are. I mean, they still are. They're still thinking. Okay, so I've got the little kid's sunglasses. Oh my God! I was gonna um, I was gonna go to dinner with breakfast. I was just like, oh no problem. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, so. This is, let's see, if you said, what's the drug? I don't have to throw anything. That's, I think, what we have to say from the very beginning, Mike. If we were ever going to do a DVD on this, which we are, um, you would have to start them. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. We just have to be peppered. Even with pictures of someone getting ready to throw something with a through it. So if I do it like this, then I definitely don't have to throw anything because the object's already in there. So I have to say to myself, he likes to go in that corner. If you said, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? To I took the blanket away. I put all the blankets, everything in the crate. So he'll start going in there. But that's going to make it less appealing from... If you said even right now, he's aware the blanket isn't there. Yeah, I'm sure it is on some level. I mean, I can say it's not there. I mean. uh, I see the little paw. I think you're looking for the paw. And I think if you're activating the pager and you're seeing the lip licking, you're doing the right thing, too. I think if you're seeing the lip smacking, if you said, why, wow, you're activating the part of the dog that says it's a food source. If you said, I don't want to be a food source, you are. Where else is it going to get anything to eat? <laughs> Here, that's, that's what we say, Mike. If people say, I don't want to be a food source, I know, but where else is it going to get anything to eat? <laughs> I'm losing it. I am. It's, it's just people... They really don't get a dog for them or to study its behavior or do anything. They just, 
either want to compare it to some idealized dog from the past, which is some sort of blended version of Lassie and all these things. And they just want to think it's just doing everything wrong when it's really just being a dog. It's just being itself. They don't like it for itself. They like it for what they want it to be. But, I mean, it's just like with anybody. I said, you know, if somebody doesn't really know who you are, how close could you really be to that person? You know what I mean? You've got to think about it that way. All right, so if I said no, this the watch. The noise is so familiar. Put it right in my hand. The whole thing is very... And it is. I mean, I don't know how we could tell people to practice, but I'm being as, if you're there, Lauren, I'm being as delicate as possible. I'm not trying to toss it, throw it, anything, nothing. You said, well, I could do that later. Yeah, I could do anything later. I'm making it as small as possible. Uh, uh, it's, it's very, you know, he's going to lay down. Mark will let Stacy get, if you're there, I should tag Jordan. I hope Mark would let Stacy get this puppy. It's already trained. If you said, do they need that? Good God, yes, they need that. <laughs> Good God, yes. And then it would all end up working out. It's just very, if you said, well, it's because of what you're doing. I understand that. <laughs> I understand how powerful that is. If we were able to say, we're going to guide you on this journey without errors. We're not going to make common errors that everybody does because we're not aware. <coughs> oh, am crash. Somehow crash got out here. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to have to get her out. If you say, oh, sonar. Hard to say. If you say, oh, she's jealous. Oh, she's jealous. Yeah, you're jealous. Crash, look at the whole phone. If I ever got, you know, if someone ever broke in and tied me up and ran out and I couldn't get my phone, and they just said, oh, oh, don't worry about that. Crash would eventually go get my phone. Oh, okay. You really could have said, should you try to toss one up there? Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm tagging myself. This is scary. People should be scared. How? Oh, hi, Melissa. Oh, hey, girl. I need to get these platforms, girl. You could start doing a little very simple, you could call it pet manners or something, girl. You know, just say, I'm not really a trainer, but I've learned a lot over the years, and I do have a little mini pet manner thing. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> robbed of any chance to learn, I would be mad at the people that robbed me of the chance. I would. In some of these countries, these people, it's sad to me. Any <coughs> idea if, this, if, this, if, this, if your friend, Indian friend on Facebook from India, <coughs> graduates from eighth grade, you can <coughs> celebrate this. Yes, you have to. Is there your bad friend? All right, hang on. Oh my God, crash is kidding. Crash is giving me the dumb down. All right, let me get rid of Crash. Oh, no, you sneaky Crash. Oh, you are awful, Crash. Oh, God, hang on. She bought me again.
to a little workshop, just even this default down, any dog can learn this. He said, what do you need? All you need is people that can sit down and be just even halfway patient and not sit down and scream down and point every two seconds. Ah, okay. I can do a double with the watch and the glasses. See, I already heard that. All right, look, so let me get him to lay down. That's the tail, though. You see the hand He wants to get up here. I, that one video I just posted, I don't remember which one it was, but if you said, well, I made a note, the bag was way too damn crinkly. Uh, I think that, you know, you know, that's, that's something you should use. Though. They should make a thing that makes a noise like a crinkly bag for people to attract the dog. They just learn that. All this stuff comes in crinkly bags. Nothing can be gotten open. Is it just me? Nothing, and I mean nothing. I should have a whole series of me trying to fucking open everything. If, I, well, if anything, everything, anything, everything I get from Amazon, the dog food bags, anything I buy from, everything it cannot be gotten open. If you said, what about sh the, sh the shampoo, any of it, I can't, can't be gotten open. If you said, what about closed? No, it can't be gotten closed either. If you said, like, what about these treats? Oh, yeah, no, it's resealable, but... Oh, it'll take forever to actually get it closed. It won't close, and it'll fall and spill. <laughs> but you see, I was attracted to the noise. Okay, so if Cammy's watching, she's those. Are those our treats? Yes, they change out. They they uh they trade out treats. All right, so I'm saying the watch is probably going to be my better. But I, I just very delicately, you know, you need to understand if it was something real big, if it was an elephant, if it was an elephant and it was taking a thing and setting it down and all you had to do was pick it up, you'd be hyper aware. You, you little piece of peanut. He's just so at the ready to help me. I just, I love it. It's so cute. I mean, it really is. You don't want to say, and that's why you don't want to upset your do tug of war, any of these things. If you said, no, I like to have an adversarial relationship with your best friend, <laughs> that would be my response. You like an adversarial relationship with your best friend? <laughs> no way. If you said, what about, oh, eating out and fun and, oh yeah, all of that stuff now. Oh, going to shows, all of it. Oh, Billy Joe Armstrong, all of it. Uh, you little Mr. Peanut. But as much as possible, I mean, I, I understand. I think maybe people have been printed in their head, well, you throw something and a dog goes and gets it. You saw him watch my hand move. And so that's why they immediately want to throw it, but then they're immediately creating a problem because the part that you need to work on first is it getting in your hand. Once you put it way over there and your hand is way over here, why don't you shut yourself up for failure? <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna fail. <laughs> you saw the foot. You little Mr. Peanut. He's just such a sweet little soul. Anyway, Christine, you saw what I did. Get Al getting this platform built. When he started biting at my... There's nobody else to bite at. There's no other puppies now. He, but he does still play with the mother. But, you know, as soon as he started doing... <coughs> Jesus, he said that's so annoying. <coughs> I mean, I believe that this sister's mean. If Sonar wasn't trained, I don't even want to think about it. She's a star. She was she Who knows? Well, he's not the least bit bothered. Okay, so if you said then what? What do I do though? And maybe this is what you start doing, Christy. If I'm gonna leave, I do. I just put the treat right here. But then I just leave, so it's not luring him up there. <laughs> He'll smell it though. Watch him <laughs> come <laughs> out. Oh, Annie P. 
pigs for sure. Oh yeah, Mike. A little bit of workout and a little bit of strength training. There, there ain't gonna be a guinea pig on the planet you're not gonna be able to tug. You, you, you can take two or three of them on at once. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just it's, it's, it's empowering. I mean, once you fling these guinea pigs around, it's kind of like cat juggling. You know, you're just, you're seeing, damn, I mean, fucking, my adrenaline. I could set this camera up in here. I could go in there and watch on the computer and I could do the manners minder from in there. Am I wrong? You are factoring out the handler. I mean, you have to be careful. You don't want to factor the handler out completely. But if you said, how would it come in handy? If you're returning, now you're returning, you're going to the platform. You're setting up not a dynamic where the dog is going to be jumping all over you because you're already saying, you know, you're already saying we're going together immediately. It's not going to be Clash of the Titans as soon as I come in. And then just the one trait and the handler's gone. You've got to get a little training area if you're there long. I mean, even a small area where there's a platform where you can sit your handler down and the other dogs acting in free agency or not constantly interrupting it. I know in mine it seems like they are, but for a lot, I mean, a lot of times I do do it when there aren't any other ones out there. All right, he's probably going to lay down. Or he might fall off the edge if he's not careful. Okay, hang on. All right, look, I'm going to see if he looks at me. If he looks at me, I'm going to do my hand. Oh, he sees Skylar. He really does think that's his brother now. If you say something cute. My God, it's unbelievably cute. There you go. <laughs> and the chin down, too. He's a star, this one. He is a star. So I think it's very important that I'm just saying, listen, I I, I don't have to... If it's really your best friend, listen, I... I got stuff I gotta go do, but listen, I'll drop off some cookies right before I go. I'll drop some chocolate chip cookies off at your house before I go to gloss over the fact that I'm not there. Okay, girl, let me try to get mine fixed. I just look in the troubleshooting guide. But what you would do is just put it on the platform. You little peanut. And just, I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with it. It's just unbelievable. One push of the button, and then it just, the red light went on, and then it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can do a little something. If I put it in the corner, he might be prone to come back this way, because I polarized him to the platform. That's what you're always saying. Well, let me get your lift. This is his stairs to get off of there. I don't like him jumping off of there. Oh, there's the lift. That's your stairs. <laughs> you little peanut. You little peanut. You said that wasn't a very good sound. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay, then you didn't bring it. Oh, I, need to find metal. I don't know why the metal is the best. It's for 
him to get up here now. Watch. He's going to use that as a... They invented on their own. The first time they ever went up there, I wasn't even in there. I came in there, and they were already up there. If I just leave the tree there, though, and leave, it's going to go back over there. Watch. Smell it over there, and then... But there wasn't even anything in it. There wasn't even, let me go grab it. And then I said, well, you know, does it, is it that sensitive that it sees that there's no food in there? Then I put food in there. And let me go grab the stupid thing. Hang on. You can see how it would already work, but then just nothing happens. I said, I'll check the battery in this thing. Yes, maybe. So it's working already. Let me try getting a different battery. I mean, you see how it could work, though. Especially now with the cameras. I could go in there and watch them. I could go in there and watch them. Well, it looks like an advertisement for it. I could go in there and watch them on the um, little peanut. I could go in there and watch them on the computer from in here. I mean, I not if you said it. Yes, I just bought the battery, but... If you said it went dead, I would believe that. I would believe that. No, I already went dead. One day. Unbelievable. It really does. Oh, I don't know if it Careful though, it can scare us sometimes. Oh shit, little peanut. Little peanut. 
Jenny, it just doesn't work. You just sit there and hit the button. I just, I'm so over everything. I hate everything. It doesn't work. Just try taking the batteries out of that and resetting it. No, I will. No, I will. That's what I plan on doing because it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's really trying to figure out what I'm doing now. He really, really is. I think you would want them, especially for service, you want them laying down beside you. That chin on the lap thing. So just don't have any reaction. If you're just gonna sit there and giggle and can't sit still. Oops. They're gonna start biting you. They are. Oh, little peanut. He just started defaulting downing on his pillow. Uh-uh. You little peanut. He's got the behavior of putting the front feet up, though. I'm going to get a little foot, so I'm going to find something. <laughs> Any behavior that occurs, you have to kind of thank it. This could, you know, there's some context for it, laying down, okay, it's laying down. So there is a context for that. Oh. So that didn't work at all. Of course they're gonna try stuff, but when it continues not to work, that's where it becomes it doesn't work at all. When somebody tells me an idea of something that I know for a fact doesn't work at all, I say, no, we're not going to try that because that doesn't work at all. <laughs> that isn't the solution. You know, that's what their mindset has to be. That's not the solution. For sure. Because that doesn't work at all. That's Thimble. She's got a new bed. She's underneath it snoring. Oh, you little Mr. Peanut. Yeah, I really like that fake grass. They're very attracted to it. Ooh, little Mr. Cutie Beauty. It's, and if you said, what, what is his, you know, I'm saying, uh, here, I've gotta go, but here, I'm dropping candy off at your house. I was like, Mandy. Oh, I have to go, but I'm dropping off his gift certificate. She's like, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's buffering the blow. That's what you're saying to the dog. Buffering the blow that I have to leave. But it's very obvious. I've already got one foot out the door. I'm not hanging around. I've already got one foot out the door. You know, and if you can do it like this, where the dog, you know, you're doing good. If you said, what if you're just real clumsy, you just keep hitting it in the head when you do that. No, don't you like that. <laughs> you know, but I'm able to say, I, I can, you know, I see without looking at you. What's wrong with that manners minder mic? I mean, she's one twirl. I was like, okay, we're good to go. Red light comes on. Doesn't work anymore. Oh boy. You said, what about the other batteries? Well, I mean, the light comes on, you'd think. You'd think if it was the other batteries, the light wouldn't come on. All right, you said, get him to put the chin down. It's going to be the go to behavior. He's almost yawning. Let me see if I yawn if he does it. He started to yawn. It made me yawn like. He said, Is Thimble snoring doing it? Possibly.
should be able to get into ghost stand up there. But... Oh, you little peanut. It, this, it's Groundhog Day for them then. I said the truth. If I'm not there anymore, that's, that's why it isn't luring. I'm not there anymore. Oh, my precious peanut. I, I never really dreamed the climb would work as good as it did. The initial average, you should see the ads they have. If you said their videos, oh my God, they're so lame. One, they have this great big giant dog sitting on one while these people eat dinner. It's like very, I don't know, like back in the day or whatever, they like in schools, I don't know if they had that bear mic, but it would be like the dunce chair. And one person, the person that was giving the most ego crippling shaming at school that day was forced to sit. If you said if you wanted him to speak, you could get that little bit. I don't want him to speak. But he's looking at Oliver now that I see Oliver somehow got in here. If you said why is he looking? Because he's small, it appears to be. If you said that, you know, oh, they totally mistake small dogs. Oh, hi, Kristen. Yeah, you've got to get this fake carpet on this climb thing. I guess, you know what they say to do, now that I think about it, they say take the legs off and use it for the platform, but that, that's not as good. It's just a scale miniature version. Look, he yawned. <laughs> now I'm gonna yawn. I really, it's, you can't, if you try to make yourself, if you said now we have to yawn, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, I guess. There is such a thing as dogs that yawn on command. There are people that have a lot of time to... You little peanut, you see how you could take that little nugget of noise and teach it to speak. If you, I'm not gonna do that, but I just that's how you would think of it though, if you said I wanted to speak. It's, it's way harder than, yay, <laughs> than you think to get one to speak if they're not that type of dog. If you said, what about like Skylar? <sighs> he barely barks. I mean, to get him elevated without any eyes or anything, what would you wave something around? I mean, I can't get him doing it. He doesn't naturally do it at all. Oh, no, he's just a baby doll. You know, I think you would know you were getting somewhere, too. I mean, you do want to practice just sitting there with them. That's the behavior modeling. If you said, I don't like one that lays right down beside me, I like one that gets all excited. People end up not liking it. They're sitting there trying to read their tablet, next thing the dog's in the middle of the tablet. And it's easy to do. I call this the popcorn drill. Oh, it's just like if you're at the movies and you're giving your friend. If you said we don't eat popcorn, okay, Skittles then. You're just handing your friend a piece of candy as you're both not looking at each other. You're just both existing in the world. It's just hard for people to do. They want to just touch, touch, touch. That's why everything has to have, don't stick your fingers in there, don't touch. I remember that pig farm. I used to get these Yorkshire pigs, but there's a pig farm down there, and they had signs. They, the school would come there for tours, but they had signs on all the cages. I bite, I bite. <laughs> if you said that was better than don't pet me, it seemed to be. You know, that's what people should put on these vests. I bite. No, because then you'd still get these idiots to say, oh, dogs love me, it won't bite me. I've had people tell me that story, or that one, some one at the park one time with Elliot. Here comes some idiot, one of these idiots that spots you. Ouch! Oh my God, are you all right? That's 
spots you from far away, whose face immediately lights up upon seeing a German Shepherd, and is going to tell you a story about their old German Shepherd. All right, look, so that's what I always do, though. I put the food there, and then I go away, and it gets up there. So I'm not laying him up there at all. What's in here? You're kind of doing well. He's just done with his nose. He can easily get up there, though. Like this, I go, Misty, it's like a good pan. And then I go, and then the door opens. And out he goes, and Skyler's out. Okay, I'm gonna go out front and I gotta go blow the driveway off, but at least he's got Skyler to play with. Um, but that's how I get him back in, too. If he said, I don't want any excitement, I said, good luck. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want it to show any excitement, I mean, you're not very fun to be around. You're not. That's what people need to say to themselves. How fun are you? I mean, are you getting all these like big fun awards? Doesn't sound like it. You know, he's out there now chasing Skylar. All right, guys, hang on. I'm going to, um... Oh, hi, Susan. No, I... I wore my son pajamas every single day in an effort to cut back on laundry. If you said, did it help? Not really. That's the strange part. <laughs> There's still all this laundry. Oh, hi, Claire. All right, but listen, Kristen, just get, go to a damn thrift store and get a damn 12 inch high end table or something and nails, nail indoor, outdoor carpet or find some guy, any guy with half a wit, any guy with half a testicle ought to be able to throw something like this together with some PVC pipe and, <laughs> you know, if you said, what about? Oh, I can build one for the life of me. But if it's, you know, if that's what's going to stop you from being a better trainer, that's sad. <laughs> Kristen's like, no, no, no. Then what, if that's what it is, if it's something that you really want, then you need to tell your friends and family. Sure, other people want flowers and candy for their Valentines. Not me. I want a plastic dog platform. That's what I want. <laughs> I'll find my own indoor outdoor car, but if you can just get me the actual platform, I can really, really start fulfilling my dream of feeling like a serious pro trainer so that I can act the part. You know, we just can't, we've got, you know, if you said, well, I want to get into a profession where there's no, you know, equipment involved. What? If you said, what's that? I'm free, free diving. <laughs> Free diving, <laughs> there's no equipment. You don't need anything, spare trunks, free dive. No equipment involved. So you're gonna, I, you know, you're just making an excuse. If, if you can't get the exact climb, at least get the exact dimensions. I wouldn't say it, believe me. I said when I got the first one, I'll never buy another one. If you say what happened, like a week later I bought another one. <laughs> I'd buy more too, or that other girl, Susan, she did end up giving me one. She made me crazy, though. Um, but whatever is, if it's going to make you even a little bit better, get it. If you just stay the same, if you say you don't get any better, you just stay the same. Man, at some point, you start deteriorating. If you're not growing and changing, you're getting the damn climb. Oh, you did make one. Okay, that's all I mean. I don't mean the exact... If you said you were just blown away by this design. No. I tried to carry it one time. I tried to unscrew the legs and put the legs in the bottom like it says. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. It says, oh, big, oh, you know, big revolutionary design. You just unscrew the legs and then you put them, oh, it looks like they chewed. You stick them in here and then you carry it like a suitcase. If you said, then the one would always fall out. <laughs> You take like three steps and fall out. <laughs> oh my God. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. 
If you said what else, should, it should have like a little, you know, it should have like a little storage compartment. Am I wrong? Like a little thing that opens up. Oh, hide the treats in there. And it should have like an automatic thing where a tree comes out. Oh, this stuff. All right, so if you said, how do I get them back in? I get them back in the same way. He's out there playing with Skylar because he thinks that's the one, the last brother. You're always rewarding and stepping off, though. I think that's the important part. If somebody gives me a sample and says, oh, there's as many as you want, just let me know. Oh, if you say, what would I say? Where'd that, uh, where'd that waiter with those hors d'oeuvres go? He's over there. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. That, that's who you're posturing yourself to be. All right, look, and then there's the, there's the treat that just, and the handler's gone at that point. Oh my God, look at his butt. Oh my God. No, oh, Kristen, I don't want the actual climb. That, that will be your dream later. The first $189 you make as a professional trainer will get you this climb. No, we'll wait till it's on sale. said how permanent is that gonna be I mean it's it's been so successful it's it's not gonna abandon it <laughs> oh you tiny precious little dog I think that's very important though I'm already before I get there it, it is it's like I can't stay it's like when you like your friend, like you have to go drop something off or something, but you can already kind of tell, like they want to talk to you and stuff. So you have to make the pre-excuse ahead of time that I can't stay. I have to just drop the cookies off real quick. If you say, what do you say? Oh, okay. Well, at least I'm dropping off the cookies. <laughs> so I'm pulling in the driveway. Look, here's me. I'm pulling in the driveway. I'm putting it in reverse. I'm rolling down the window. I'm handing out the cookies. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going, you know, if he said that's keeping him looking, it's keeping him looking at me more than if I sat over there rubbing on his head. <laughs> you know, you're just, I think, if he said, what does it make him think? I mean, that I'm aware of what's going on around me. It's not that I can't see what's going on if I'm not looking. You little peanut. I'm just gonna do a couple videos. Oh my God, be careful. God, you fell on that blanket. Oh, he's rough and tumble. I should be able to get him to lay down right there. Seems like all he's gonna see is that hand. Let's get up here and do it. I mean, ideally, If you were training it for a public access to fall down, I do think you would get it laying down right next to you, that you would just do that from the beginning. Yeah, so that if you were, you know, riding in a car or wherever, am I wrong? Or would you put it on the other side? So that doesn't work at all. I just don't have any reaction. I just don't have any reaction at all. She said, what about the elbow like to bite your hair? He said, should you get a different hairstyle? You're gonna fall. You know, that's the key. If you said, say no, no, no. The only way you would really do that is if you said, oh, and someone tells me no. When somebody tells me no, I don't do it anymore. Uh, he's just got this behavior. Cute little penis. Uh-oh, I'm going to 
control, hang on. Is just to keep getting it to the platform. I need to start taking them outside. I'm going to take him down by the pond later. If you said, what do you need to start thinking of? And if you're still there, Christine, you need to start thinking of taking this puppy out in this great big field and saying, see ya. <laughs> if you said, why? They're so impressionable. It would be like, oh my God, I remember that one time they took off without me. I had to run and run to catch them. And they're not going to run away. You've got a shot in hell. They're not, even if it did take off running, it's not going to be able to get away. They're, they're, you know, they're too young at this. It's not even going to try. I think that's where you have to have faith. At this age, they're not even going to try to get away. They're already, you know, polarized to a handler. So they're not going to try to get away. But if you said so, if they're not going to try to get away. Well, as they get older, they will. If you don't do something to really imprint the behavior of you taking off. If it's just because the people are just there too much. Anyway, Mike, let me know if you can figure out what's wrong with this stupid thing. Is it just effective? I'm turning this battery around. I'm just confusing battery. If the stupid I need to twirl, but is it jammed? It's like I don't know. Yeah, you know, it seems like that thing is awful hard to turn. Let me see. I feel oh he's got the glasses. You little peanut! How did you get those, you little peanut? So what's your job? You can get it to get it to me. to wear them. That would be, if you said, how did you know? Because he put the paw up. I want to see if I could just even get him to wear them for a real cute picture. He said, how do you do it? First off, they don't like it, but. Oh my God. I'm going to try it. If you said, how do you do it? You get like a little ponytail band thing. You put it there so you can just kind of set the If I had to guess, the stupid manners minder is defective. And it has too many dials and buttons on me. Single treat, multi treat, Q dispenser. Was I, I mean, I was just doing something wrong? It has like five, four different channels. It's like Greg's collar. It's like Greg's car. There, nobody can figure this thing out. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get the troubleshooting guy. But I'll be back later with him. But it's just ridiculous that stuff, you know, they need to understand people aren't that sophisticated. This woman killed herself. If you said she just couldn't take the fact it's, it's, if I was gonna invent something for people, I'll tell you, I wouldn't have all that stuff on there. I wouldn't be making it that complicated if he said that. I'd maybe be making it that easy. Little thing goes up there, it gets a treat. You know, not 900 different ways to do it. Let the, you know. Falls down. You know, don't make tools bigger than the talent. Let the talent outgrow the tool and force the tool to grow. Not make the tool so big, nobody even uses it. <laughs> make it into the Titanic. That is uh, ridiculous. Anyway, all right, guys, hang on. I got that chameleon working, so let me go out there and see if I can. Hopefully, it still works. Be right back.